welcome to my channel, my name is Anya and in this video I will be going over my Project Pan update for January. I'm not wearing any makeup today, I'm not feeling very good so if I appear a bit low energy that's why. I'm still getting over being sick, it takes forever and the last week of it has been rough and me being sick for half the month has meant that I haven't worn as much makeup as I would have liked and I don't have all that many empties. I don't have all that many products to talk about in general. I'm just going to go over some of the stuff that I finished and the stuff that has a noticeable progress, whether that is by weight or measured on the paper. The two items I finished, because there's only two, is the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. This was in my mattifying primers category. It's fully serviceable and workable, but Wet n Wild is no longer cruelty free. And I don't love this primer as much as I used to. So I'm happy to get that out of my stash. And the other one was the mini number no. seven high shine lip crayon. It has a tiny bit of product in here. I don't scoop and scrape out my products. It's just not how I wear makeup. So I'm calling this done. This is one that I've absolutely fallen in, lo in love with. And I have a backup of this or it's no longer a backup technically because this is done. I got that in the advent calendar in um, in December, but I like this a lot and I'm really happy that I finished it because it was getting quite old And I'm only gonna add one more product in. I'm not gonna replace the matte primer category That's gonna stay empty for now. My skin is really struggling. You can probably see I have a lot of breakouts going on I don't know the specific product. I have an idea of what it was Unfortunately, um, I'm not using it. I have only used that like twice and it has not gone over well it's been like at least two weeks since last time I used it, so it's taken a while to clear out, but it happens. But my skin is also really dry because of that, so right now for me it just does not make sense to add a mattifying primer into my routine. So I'm going to stick with the Maybelline and the Becca primer that I have. I am going to add in another product for my nude lip colour category, which was the number seven. I am adding in this one from last year. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream Mini in Zurich. It is a very lovely product. Now the Soft Matte Lip Creams are my favourite liquid lipstick. This I've added into the nude category but it definitely is more pink than it appears. It just, it sort of, it's too nude to be a pink but it's a little bit pinker than what I like my nudes to be. I can wear this colour and I like it but I have doubles so I would like to try and use this mini little one up. And this is starting at 10 grams. Then I'm going to just go through everything I have products on. I'm going to start with primers. And I have been using my Maybelline Master Prime, which was the moisturising primer, the anti-redness one, a lot. This was full, but at the beginning, I used 5 grams of this, and I'm really pleased with this. But I'm not sure how I feel about this. I said in my intro that this doesn't really colour correct and I still stand by that but it does colour correct a teeny bit when my skin is doing okay right now I'm sort of at medium redness that that probably doesn't make a lot of sense but as you can see I have a lot of redness and if I put this on right now it's not gonna do much it might do a little bit on my forehead which is the area where I have the least but just overall, this doesn't really colour correct, but it does add some moisture. My issue with this has been the texture of this, because if I use too much, it just does not look nice, and it ends up drying my skin out. So I'm not really sure what to do with it. I'm going to keep it in and try it for a little bit longer, but if this doesn't improve, and if I keep struggling with this when using it, I might have to let this go. But I'm really pleased that I used up 5 grams of that. For foundation, I used the It Cosmetics CC Cream and Fair once. I am still thinking about doing a review on this where I talk a bit more about my feelings about it, how I use it. Long story short, I don't like it because it doesn't sit very nicely on my skin and it just tends to emphasise texture. I tried this with applying it with my hands the last time over the top of my skincare my moisturizers and everything and it was fine it didn't look horrible but I would not I didn't like how it looked I do still want to try this with both a sponge and a brush a couple of times as well as potentially because they I've gotten this ad on TV from Kix which is like in the Norwegian version of Sephora where she talks about and by she I mean the founder of it cosmetics talks about this being skincare and makeup in one so I kind of want to try and apply this like I would a moisturizer 
without a moisturizer underneath this. I have a feeling that's not gonna be a very nice look because I think that's gonna just cling to any dry patches and anything like that. But I used a gram of this the one time I used it. So there's tiny progress. I've also been using my Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflage and Concealer in Fair a couple of times. This has also lost a gram. And I don't like this anymore. And it might just be that this doesn't work when I apply it with my fingers and I've been applying a lot of my makeup with my fingers recently because it's annoying to have to go and wash a sponge and brushes all the time. I tend to, for the days where I have some energy to do makeup, I've been in the mood for something that is quick. And wetting a sponge is not that for me, even though I know that it gives me the best result. So I've been using my fingers as well as using my powder foundation, but I've been trying to use this with my fingers. And it might be that my skin is freaking out a little bit with all of the blemishes and everything, but this does not sit nicely on the skin. So I don't know, and it doesn't really blend out that well with my fingers. I am going to give it a couple of more shots, but again, this is also getting a bit old, so it might be that that has a play into it. But I'm going to try it a couple more times to see if I can get it to work, because I know this usually works amazingly with a sponge. And maybe I just need to suck it up and use my sponges more. I do want to do that because I know that gives me the best result. But I just, it annoys me a bit that this doesn't work as nicely as it used to. I have progress on both of my pressed powders. So the Makeup Mecca Matte on the Go Powder and Transparent. It goes everywhere, but it's really, really flat. I've been using this a lot. This has lost two grams of product. My goal with this is to hit pan because I don't absolutely love it. And my issue with this, as I've said before, is that if I apply this heavily, which is what I do because I use a dance brush when I use this, I apply quite a lot of it at once, it can look like I've put highlighter over my face because it has a bit of that glow to it. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it to show up on my skin. But you can sort of see a white stripe there. It looks a bit like that. And I don't mind the white colour of this because I am very pale, so it doesn't look really out of place. But it's just the shine that this has when it claims to be a matte powder is what sort of throws me a bit. I think I will be able to hit pan on this very soon because I do work up a lot of this when I use it because I use such a dense brush. But I won't repurchase it because I don't love it. The other one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder in Warm Ivory. This is too dark. <laughs> And I have sort of worn the dome a little bit flat. Not sure how well you can be able to see. But this is too dark for me. I remember when I bought this with the foundation. They did not have the lightest shade in store. And I think this is the third shade up. And same with the foundation. And they are very too dark. Very too dark. They are too dark for me by at least three, four shades. I have used this a couple of times. And I like the finish of it. But the colour is... It's too dark. So it's going to be one of those powders that I can pretty much only use if I'm not going anywhere. Because it's very, very noticeable. And it's a bit annoying. Or I'm going to have to just take it out next month and wait until summer. I am going to persevere though because I don't mind and I leave the house like once, max twice a week. So most of the time I wear makeup I don't actually go out. So I'm fine with wearing stuff that doesn't look very nice and match me perfectly. But it's just, it is what it is. It's usable but I don't I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. It has lost a gram, which isn't a lot, but considering I've used it once, if that continues every single time I use it, it's gonna go hopefully very fast. I have a bit of progress on my Aunt Thomas fi makeup fixing spray. I haven't marked this on the side anymore, but this has lost four grams of product, which is about four mils. It's a 200 mil bottle, so it's huge, but I I think I am somewhere around here. This is gonna take me a while. I do like it, I don't love it. It's getting frustrating, but I'm getting there. I have a bit of progress on my brown gel. This is Lost a Gram. It's the NYX Control Freak. I use this every single time I do my eyebrows. I like it a lot, but this is getting old. I'm gonna continue using it until it doesn't work anymore, but I have noticed that this the wand on here is getting drier and drier every time I pull it out. So I think this might be gone faster than I realised. But I'm happy because I've enjoyed it a lot. My Urban Decay eyeshadow primer has also lost a gram. This is getting very small. 
That excites me. This isn't a favourite of mine, but it is really lovely and usable, so I'm going to continue finishing it. I have some surprising progress on my Art Deco Long Lasting Eyeshadow Stick in 08, which is a rose gold eyeshadow stick. I've only used this a few times, and this has lost 3 millimetres, millimetres, not millilitres, 0.3 centimetres. And it wasn't a whole lot to begin with. It was 1.6 centimetres when I started. It's 1.3 now, so it doesn't have a lot of product in here. But I'm surprised at how much product has actually gone down because so I've used this I think I have it written here three or four times so I think this might be gone very quickly which excites me it is a gorgeous product though and I have been wearing some rose gold eye looks and have fallen back in love with that because it is probably along with copper rose gold is probably my favorite eyeshadow color to wear it just I feel like it suits my eyes and my skin tone very nicely. I have some progress on my eyeliners. I've lost four millimeters on my Milani Shadow Eyes and Almond Cream. This is freshly sharpened. This was five centimeters, it's now 4.6. This I am unsure about. It is still very creamy and it doesn't smell weird. It feels like it did, but my eyes have been really dry recently and I don't know if this is what's causing it. This is getting very old, so I do want to try and finish this before the summer. If I can't do that, it's gonna have to go anyway. It's a little bit worrying, because this is it's either this, the um, Urban Decay Primer Potion, one masca a mascara, or this that I think is causing it. It might also be the Art Deco eyeshadow stick, because they are probably the oldest combination that I'm using. So I'm probably gonna have a bit of a play around in the next couple of weeks, using one, one week, but not the other, if that makes sense, and try and figure out what is potentially causing my issues because I already have dry and sensitive eyes and they've just been really hard uh, to work with. They keep watering, I can't wear my contacts because it's just too dry and itchy. I do think it's makeup, that, makeup that's causing it. The weather is also changing a bit but it's still cold here so that doesn't really impact my eyes. I don't have allergies. I think some of my eye makeup is potentially irritating my eyes. I do want to try and figure out what it is because when I figure it out, it's going. If it ends up being a combination of these products, they're gonna go. But this is one of those items that I think it might be because I apply this on my waterline. The eyeshadow stick is only on my lid, same with the primer. This is another one of the items that might cause this. This is the Colourpop Creme de Liner in Mr. Bing. The Colourpop one in Mr. Bing is getting very, very dry to the point where it's nearly impossible. It is actually impossible. You know what? I'm going to call this done. When I did my makeup with this two or three days ago, I could still transfer this onto my waterline, but I can get a scratchy AF swatch here and it keeps breaking. So it's hard to say, but this is going to go. I have a backup of this, which is why I'm fine letting it go, but it is that much product left. It's it's so dry that it's it cracks the second you put pressure on it. So I'm gonna let this one go because I can't use it anymore. I'm not gonna, I mean, it's an impromptu thing. I'm not gonna add any other eyeliner to this because I don't know which one I would choose. I'm gonna play around with the Milani one and then I'm gonna put a couple in my shop, my stash, which is going up, I think, next week. And then at some point, one of those will probably end up in here. The Mr. Bing pencil had lost half a centimetre, and that's because it broke last time I used it. It broke off about that much. I have a couple of lip products here. I'm gonna do the pink lip colour first, which is my NYX Soft My Lip Cream in Milan. This is a gorgeous colour. When swatched next to the Zurich, definitely pink. And I've used this two, two times. It is, it hasn't lost an invisible weight. But this is, again, one of the very old products. It's the same age as the Milani pencil. And I have this at use it at 30 times, but I'm gonna swap that for 20 because of how old it is. I do like the color, but I have a backup. It's not my favorite color to wear, so I do think it would be better for me and my collection, if I could stop dropping things. It would be better for me in my collection, I think, if I wasn't focusing a lot of time on that one compared to the stuff that is a bit newer. It is going to be decluttered um, this summer anyway, no matter how much I do, but I would like to try and use it 20 times before that. So I've done 
two now, so I have 18 to go. The last items I have progress on here are my lip pencils. The Gosh Velvet Touch Lip Liner in Chocolate Kiss has lost half a centimetre. It's a really lovely brown colour. I've been wearing it a couple of times. I think I wore it in the last video underneath a balm. It's really lovely. I really like it. I am hoping to finish this. And I definitely think I will because I've been falling back in love with it again. And I have tiny progress on the um, Makeup Mecca Lip Liner on point in number 7. This has lost 0.1 centimeters, which isn't maybe all that much in length, but it is only 2.3. It's that pink there. So there, it is not a whole lot of product, product in here and I just wanted to include it because I don't have all that many products to talk about. But I will finish this, it is a lo lovely formulation and I really like it. And that was my January update for the Team Project Pan. I haven't done as well as I wanted, but I am going to spend February, or well, I'm going to spend the last week of January getting better, hopefully. I'm probably not going to wear a lot of makeup this week. And then I am excited for February. I have a few items that I actually haven't didn't update. The Maybelline Pink Colour Corrector hasn't lost a gram, even though I've been wearing it every time I've worn makeup. I wanted to finish that so badly this week or last week. I couldn't do it so I'm going to continue with that. I think it's going to be done very soon and I'm hopeful that I'm going to be able to finish a couple of items as well. I want to pay a little bit more attention to my lip products because I've been jumping around with a lot of different lip products this month because I'm trying to use everything that I have which is a lot but I'm hoping to pay a little bit more attention to lip products and I have a couple that I know are going to need a little bit of love but then I think I have some that if I set my mind to it I will be able to finish them in February so I think I might do that. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye!